this uh, coil just happens to be just big enough for me to uh, put the bolt down in there. So I'm just going to show how that works. I'm going to have the uh, lights on with the brightness. Let me see. I'm going to cut the brightness down. I didn't really know what I was doing before. So I'm going to cut the brightness down and then lock it at that, right? So brightness all the way down. And uh, get it going. So that right there is what you can expect it more to look like to the eye. Like it really doesn't look like like something like that right there, right? And then there's that more solid toroid forms like that, right? I mean, it's not quite that bright, obviously, but oops. Yeah, I don't know. It's still like very defined right it's not like you have to cut the lights all the way down just to see it so what i've done is obviously i've just <laughs> strapped some zip ties on here so i can uh freely move it up and down just kind of showing so you can see yeah i mean you know basically it just moves up and down the bulb all the way around and uh, if i cut it up actually to the solid Toroid like that actually uh let's see so basically this is about where I was running it before maybe something like that so as I move it down actually you know starts loading the circuit a little different actually still sort of maintains the toroid all the way through gets a little Orby around this point. Right. Yeah, every now and then it'll sort of shift around how high it's sitting. So, I mean, first of all, it does it does seem to sort of follow the coil obviously so yeah I mean but mainly um, when I say the shape doesn't matter I feel like so long as you can excite the uh, toroid initially and you've got some orientation where you're able to, f to feed it no matter where it goes if it's a moving one I think that's kind of all that matters but yeah like you know despite yeah, I can sort of see with the right angle. As I'm moving it down, you know, this toroid's trying to like maintain its shape. And it's kind of bending down underneath that part of the green flower there. So you can't really see it, that angle. Yeah, it sort of bends down to maintain its shape and flow. <laughs> then at some point, it just sort of like bounces up to the top side of the flower, like it just did there still maintains yeah, it kind of hops up and down of course as I move it further and further away so now I have to try the same thing with the other bulb all right so again So actually, so it is changing states now, right? So, hold on a second. Damn. Got like zip ties poking around. How I've got this uh, bootleg phone, phone bootleg mounted. So anyway, before, this is about what it was doing. The way I just kind of had it sitting like that. So that's how it was sort of sitting. So I wasn't doing much. But once I bring it down a little bit more, you can see... It almost wants to look like it forms a donut, but it's really hard to see. Like, I can see what looks more like a hazy, faint mist. It's much more pronounced in the phone camera. I'll have to move the angle. But yeah, it actually does look like it does form a toroid right there when it changes state like that. It's just, you know, 
not very defined. So I'll have to play around to see uh, see what happens there. And also what happens, the current draw unloaded on the circuit like this. Um, you know, this circuit is uh, puts out quite a bit, right? Unloaded, it's, it's 2.3 amps right now. Right, this doesn't really present much of a load. But then once I do that, and it forms that very faint ring, now it's pulling three and a half amps. So it actually loads it down quite a bit more uh, than what that neon appeared to be doing. So the very faint ring, or donut or whatever, boom, forms, and it kind of wants to follow. Yeah, it still kind of wants to, oh, then it disappeared. So that, yeah, I don't know. That makes me curious uh, what would happen if I cut the voltage up even more. Now, the circuit is not going to like running that, right? Because just the way that that loads it down, it's uh, switching like crap. It's going to get real hot. So actually, I should probably let this cool down a little bit first. All right, I'm just going to run this a little hard at 20. I'm assuming it'll be a little hard with this load. Oh, okay. Cutting up the voltage. <clears throat> That's when I got the actual more defined ring, right? Well, let me let me actually bring it back before I speak. But what's interesting was it was that more reddish color. Okay, there it goes. This one forms it also. It's a slightly different color. Looks much more brilliant on camera. This one wasn't so easy to get going. Well, let me take that back. So long as it's sitting in the right spot, seems to get going. So that's at 20 volts, right? When I cut it back down to 17, I think I had it before. See, it's not quite enough. Right? First you get that slight excitation bring it down in there boom forms what's some level of excitation that it does sort of want to form a donut right it's just like it's just not enough it's not concentrated enough to really you have to really look for it with the uh, naked eye to see it but you can see it the uh, camera really accents it a lot more and then again <clears throat> if i uh actually run it at 20 volts instead cut that back up and the much more defined globe appears really because of the color and again it's like the higher power it's weird how that works so i was wrong before really the voltage is apparently mattering right now uh, there's a lot of different things it could be but at 20 volts now when i hold it in here I just turn the, the yeah, gate voltage up, right? So then it forms that, exciting this gas with that toroid. Then as I turn the gate voltage up even more, it eventually shifts into that one, right? Which is like less defined, but still there. But the difference is with this one, I can't really turn. I can just barely get it to flicker, right? So sort of like what Terminator was explaining in his video, you know, you're, that's why it's such a low power draw in the state, right? The way that it's uh, loaded down, it's basically just kicking out the oscillation. So, whoops, just the right height, right? <laughs> that's how it wants to sort of go. So... Let me bring that sucker to like 24, just to see. I can't really quite remember how high I can bring this thing in voltage uh, unloaded where it starts to sort of wig out, but I think I should be fine at 24. Yeah, so at that point, it's pulling 175. can't really see that. It's like 4 watts, 4 or 5 watts. So yeah, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty similar to what others have seen with these kind of deals. You know, I was running like 16, 17 before, so <coughs> a bit uh 
24 seems more reasonable. So again, what's interesting is this particular gas toroid is pulling, you know, down to like under five watts. I can maintain it, right? But then once I get higher up, higher up in power and shifts over to that barely visible one, now it's pulling like 85 watts. It's pulling like three amps or so. So that's just not loading it down enough. That right there, it's not really a true toroid. It's just like a a, uh, a real dense glow of gas that's following the coil there, not an actual toroid. This is the one, this is the actual toroid. But again, that's not really, that's not really as visible. Well, I'm not going to say that. It's pretty visible. It just doesn't look as cool to me. Uh, the color doesn't look as cool to me as this guy. So now let me try this guy at uh, 24 volts. Yeah, I mean, really, it just, it requires less power um, at the higher voltages like that. Once it gets loaded down, it's pretty cool. The little beads, I guess you could say, are not quite as easy. They're not quite as spread apart. The higher voltage. Matter of fact, let me uh put it back down. Let me put it at like 16 again just to compare. Yeah. You hear the oscillations much louder, or that that uh that thumping is much louder. Kind of curious. That's 12 volts. See if I can just maintain it. Huh. Was driving the circuit real hard there. So yeah, I don't know. About 24 volts or so. Even even like just 20. You know, you don't really need a whole lot of voltage. Seems pretty cool. Yeah, so there you go. Much louder.